we are asked to determine which property of real numbers is shown. Let's begin by reviewing the five properties of real numbers shown below. First, we have the commutative property of addition, which is given as a plus b equals b plus a. The commutative property of addition involves changing the order of a sum, for example, two plus three equals three plus two. We can easily verify this is true, two plus three equals five, and so does three plus two. Next, we have the commutative property of multiplication, which is given as a times b equals b times a. Here, we are changing the order of a product. For example, two times three equals three times two. Again, verifying this, two times three equals six, and three times two also equals six. Next, we have the associative property of addition, which is given as the quantity a plus b plus c equals a plus the quantity b plus c. Notice the associative property of addition deals with grouping terms in a sum. As an example, the quantity two plus three plus four equals two plus the quantity three plus four. To verify this, we would simplify both sides using the order of operations. We first simplify inside the parentheses. On the left, we first simplify two plus three, which is five. The left side simplifies to five plus four equals on the right side, we simplify three plus four first, which is seven. The right side simplifies to two plus seven. Now determining the sums, five plus four equals nine, and so does two plus seven. Next is the associative property of multiplication, which is given as the quantity a times b times c equals a times the quantity b times c. The associative property of multiplication deals with grouping terms in a product. As an example, the quantity two times three times four equals two times the quantity three times four. Verifying this property, we simplify inside the parentheses first. On the left, two times three is equal to six. The left side simplifies to six times four equals, on the right side we simplify three times four first, which is 12. The right side simplifies to two times 12. Simplifying further, six times four equals 24, and so does two times 12. Next, we have the distributive property, which is given as a times the quantity b plus c equals a times b plus a times c. In this property, we distribute the a, and we have a times b plus a times c. This is often referred to as multiplication across addition. As an example, we have two times the quantity three plus four, which is equal to two times three plus two times four, because we distribute the two. Again, we have two times three plus two times four. Now going back to our examples, number one, we have two plus three equals three plus two. Here we are changing the order of the addition, which is the commutative property of addition, which is A. Next, we have two times the quantity three plus four equals two times three plus two times four, which is a distributive property. Again, we distribute the two, giving us two times three plus two times four. The distributive property is E. For number three, we have two times the quantity three times four equals the quantity two times three times four. Here we are changing the grouping of a product which is the associative property of multiplication, which is D. Next, we have two times three equals three times two. Here we are changing the order of a product, which is the commutative property of multiplication, which is B. And then finally, we have the quantity two plus three plus four equals two plus the quantity three plus four. Here we are changing the grouping of a sum, which is the associative property of addition, which is C. I hope you found this helpful.